Questions and comments? The Honourable Member Timmins, James Bay. Thank you. Well, it is an extraordinary thing to say we are going to force an election that will cost $630 million. And I do agree with my Honourable colleague. He says about a leader needing the guts to stand up. Now, on Monday night, the leader of the Conservative Party uh, voted nine times in a confidence motion to support the government, but he did it hiding behind the curtain on a night when we had the historic vote on peace in the Middle East and Gaza. He has a tendency to be missing in action when it means time to stand up. So I'm on to ask my honourable colleague, I couldn't get a, an answer from the member for Dairy Queen, but tonight, if he's willing to take the government down, will he actually stand up and be in the House, or will he be off with his lobbyist chief of staff and her lobbyist friends drinking canapes and getting backhanders? <laughs> uh, at a point of order, the honourable... Madam Speaker, I think the, like, I mean, the member hasn't been here long. I guess I haven't been here long. Like, but I don't think that you can really keep repeatedly referring to the presence or lack of presence of a member in the House. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't quite get that. That's it. Like, he could... twice, he's referring to the presence or lack of presence of a member in the House, and we're not allowed to do that, right? So I just want to remind members to please be respectful in the House when they're referring to uh, members of Parliament. Every, every member of Parliament is an honourable member of Parliament. Point of order, the honourable member for Tim and James Bay. Yes, I wasn't saying he wasn't in the House. I was asking if he's going to show up. There's a substantive difference, but since it's about an election, he better... Again, I just want to remind members that they're not to say who is or he, who isn't in the House. So, the honourable member for Thornhill. Madam Speaker, the member is is actually incapable of being respectful to this institution. And soon, if he ever shows up in his riding, like the Leader of the Opposition pointed out just earlier, if he ever to take a, to take a step into his... Of order, the Honourable Member for the Honourable um, Government Deputy House Leader. Madam Speaker, a fundamental principle of this chamber is that every member is treated with honour and is considered to be honourable. To say that the member is not even capable of having any respect completely goes against that tradition and that rule that we have. I would ask through you that the Deputy uh, Leader of the Opposition uh, apologize and retract that comment. I want to remind the Honourable Member she had an opportunity to ask her uh, to, to raise her point of order without being interrupted, and I would ask her to afford the same uh, to who, uh, other members who do that. But also, I do want to remind members to please be respectful uh, towards each other here in the House. We are all Honourable Members, and we see that uh, when that is not done in the proper fashion, uh, then we have uh, issues where the House is seeing some disorder and uh, it's uh, we're having to rule on that and unfortunately we shouldn't have to so the honourable member for Thornhill Madam Speaker it is it is always in order to talk about the competency or the incompetency of members of this house and mm -hmm. particularly that member for Timmins and if he bothered to show up in his riding he would know what his what the people in his riding are saying but he doesn't do that he doesn't go there he doesn't listen to anyone the only person that he listens to is his boss the Prime Minister yeah.